I don't know about you, but I hate this weather. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Look at it. Bloody wind. I've got everything ready. I'm sort of getting my bench ready for my bench press. I'm getting the pull-up bar ready. Got my bands, my mat, stuff like that. And I just don't want to go out there because it's so bloody cold. I'm really struggling with this weather. I don't know how you're feeling about it, but here I am going to make another coffee. Aren't I? You like it. He likes the wind. He goes a bit nuts in the wind. Hate me. But anyway, what I'm doing in order to keep going, because I've probably got a two, three hour weights workout. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I've got everything set up. I'm making another coffee just because I think it's gonna make me feel a bit better, like a comfort coffee. It's actually a latte. So I've got everything written here. That's where I jot down my um, kind of DT stats and my weights and my sets and reps and stuff like that. And then I've got the door here. So I'm just gonna keep coming in after each one into the warm, warm through, then go out and do my exercise, then come back in again. Unfortunately, a lot of the things are like on the bar and on the bench today outside. Uh, so some of the things I can do inside, um, but a lot of the things I need to do outside. Right, so I'm gonna take you through what I did today. I started off with a few single leg box squats. I did them inside because I was uh, too much of a coward to go outside in the wind. So I think I did um, two lots of 12 on each leg and then I braved the outside and did a few touchdowns from a ledge tapping the hill there. I think I did around 17 on each side today. I'm surprised I didn't get blown off that ledge. So once I'd finished with those, I got into some work, so some Bulgarian split squats. I was doing 16 in each arm uh, until my knees started playing up, so now I'm just doing 16 in one arm and focusing on keeping the core strong as I do these. And I do them barefoot as well, really work on the balance. And then I added in some regular split squats on, um, I think I did around about 18 on each side, I think. It's just higher volume on these at the moment. Then I went into some double leg work, so goblet squats. It's kind of lower weight, but fuller range of motion that I'm working on here. So once I'd finished off with the lower, I started doing some pull-ups. So as you can see, I've got one band there helping me. I have actually progressed. I started with um, two bands. So these are just chin-ups, so relatively narrow grip, uh, making sure my chin goes right over. And then after I've done my sets with varying uh, resistive bands, I then do some negatives. So just hooking up on the chair, using my foot to get my chin above the bar and then lowering myself super, super slow. You feel bloody awesome doing these, you feel really strong, but still quite, can't quite pull myself up uh, without the band yet. I can do half, which is not too far from my PB, which is one and a half chin-ups ever. We'll get there. So once I've done those, I headed on to the old bench press, currently on 40 kilos, five by five so doing five of those um had a bit of a sticking point today on my third set so what did i do i waited up and went to the 42 kilos and did a just a couple so a few accessory exercises that i've been doing have been uh frontal raises i'm only doing it with the six kilo dumbbells at the moment i've actually waited down here's my lateral raises i waited down um to focus on form because I've got one elbow that seems to fleck out and do what it wants to do. Now I'm feeling a bit awesome with my tricep extension with the 16 kilo at the moment. Um, I've been working on building those up. More on that in a minute. See here, this is my little diary and this is where I write down my progress. As you can see, I started off my triceps extension um, 
well, lockdown this is anyway, I was doing it at the gym before then for a little while. You can see I was sort of doing the 8 and the 10 for a while, progressed up to the 14, and then I started with the 16 around about here. So 19th of April, we're now in the beginning of July, so I started off just doing three, and I would do it six times. Um, today I got a PB. I had a real, I was, there was a real sticking point here. Um, I just couldn't get past five for a long time. And then I made it to seven once. And then I was just really, really struggling. Sometimes I could do it, sometimes I couldn't. So I'd only make five and then I would make seven. And then some days I could just do four. It was crazy. So I just played around with it for a while and I was trying to get past this sticking point. Anyway, today I've got two lots of nine for 16. So I'm feeling a bit chuffed with that. So I've probably got um, around about six or seven sets left to go. I'm feeling a little bit smug already. My, my mood has improved. It's still horrible outside. I must keep coming inside to hide. But um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot more positive. It's good that I just got on with it. That's Chase. Playing with a squeaky toy, by the way. I don't have a mouse in the house. Are you helping me? Yeah. Phase two of Cheer Sarah the heck up. I am going for a run. Only half an hour, low heart rate, nice and easy. See you in a bit. 32 and a half minutes, low heart rate run done. I do like running, I must admit. Especially low heart rate running, it's just not difficult at all. Uh, the most frustrating bit at the beginning is just going so slow, but I started this in February and I started doing it with a marathon club that I was running and I had to watch all of my marathon club runners run ahead of me and I had to be so disciplined in staying back and I think the very first time I went out I averaged, I think it was 14.06 over the course of the run, which was only about six miles, maybe five or six miles. And I just stuck with it, um, having researched a lot, saying that you just need to be consistent and it's the volume that counts. So I've just basically made all of my runs low heart rate since then, we're now in July, and I would have one or possibly two high intensity workouts a week, plus I was doing my weight training. Um, so I've been doing this and yesterday, okay, it was only a 40 minute run, but I have been incorporating some of the 40 minute runs, but um, every single mile, well, I'm not gonna say every single mile, nearly every single mile was in the tens and it ended up averaging 10.54, which was a PB for me. So 10.54 from 14.06 in the space of February to March, to April, to May, to June, to like not even quite five months yet, but nearly nearly five months, going from 14.06 to 10.54. I'll keep you posted. So, I am going to have a shower, then I'm going to eat my lunch, and then I'm gonna meet my mate up a hill, and we're gonna walk for a few miles with the dogs. So, then I get to moan about how cold I am again, and offload on her. <laughs> No, I won't do that. Uh, it's going to be great fun meeting up with my friends. So, all in all, a really good day. I'm so glad I pushed through. It would have been so easy to say, I'm not doing it today. It's cold, it's miserable, blah, 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 blah. Might do a little run tomorrow, which is supposed to be my day off. So I might just make it like half hour, isn't it? And then back on strength training, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yay! Right. I'm going to go now. I just hope that that shows you that it's good to push through with drive. It's one of those things that you're not always going to have good days. You have to really push through and then make it a good day. Make it a good day. So drive guys. Drive, drive, drive. Great. I'm going to run out. I'm sorry. I'm going to go and have my shower. And stretch up. Laters guys.